What's going on guys? Today is Friday, uh, October 20th. Yeah. Uh, finally made it to Edmonton Airport. Uh, I'm traveling to BC for my seminar, which is on Saturday. Um, kind of a rush this morning. So I was supposed to leave at, the, the plan was to leave at 8.30. I didn't wake up till 8.30 and Rhonda didn't wake up till 8.30. So I'm like, oh shit. So yeah, a bit of a rush to get here this morning. Still haven't eaten yet. Um, well, I went to the gas station to get some gas, so I got one of those breakfast to go shakes, which is me. got some calories in me. But uh, flight's been delayed for about half an hour, so I get to chill out at the airport and. So our flight was delayed and there was a bunch of connecting flights ready to go, uh, like Terrace, <laughs> Prince George and a few other places, one of them being Beijing, right? So uh, a bunch of people were hurrying off the plane, I took my sweet time because I still have over an hour. As I walk off the plane, some lady's like, are you going to Beijing? Your flight's leaving. <laughs> Man, just because I'm Asian doesn't mean I'm going to Beijing, but no, whatever, it's, it's kind of funny. Uh, so now time for lunch because I'm starving, all I had today was that uh, one little breakfast shake thing from the gas station and the cookie from the plane and I'll show you what I got here. So I got this turkey sandwich um, toasted with mayo, cheese and mustard. So I've got two of them. Well it's one but it just got cut in two. Got a cookie because I got squats tonight so uh, probably won't get to eat that much when I get to Prince Rupert so might as well stock up on uh, macros now and a water. What's going on guys all right so today is friday got here yesterday in bc um didn't do a whole lot yesterday i got off the plane went to my parents place hung out there for like literally half an hour and went straight to the gym didn't really get a whole lot of footage just because uh, everything's still really foreign to me and not really comfortable filming in somewhere that's not really my environment uh today 
But yeah, so I went to go train with uh, my friend Linda, who's uh, gonna be hosting the seminar. Um, yeah, after that, just went home, chilled, uh, eat, and uh, this morning I went with my dad to go get some uh, breakfast at McDonald's. Nothing's changed here. Like I haven't been back here since probably 2012. Everything's exactly the same. And I mean, like everything's the same. The gym looks exactly the same. The layout's exactly the same. The town looks the same. I'm pretty sure most people are still the same too. Uh, so brought back a lot of old memories for sure. Uh, today, deadlift workout with Linda. So other than training, uh, not a whole lot to do today. Just get my notes ready for the seminar and whatnot. Uh, probably just go some do some sightseeing. Actually, I haven't been in town in a long, long time, and um, you know I. The town's only so big, so you get a chance to kind of see everything and all the places that I used to go to as a kid. So it'd be nice to see and check it out, uh, see what really changed, like my old high school and stuff like that. But um, yeah, that's pretty much gonna be my day. So right now it's about 10:30. So uh, just gonna grab my gym gear and uh, head over to the gym. Uh, this is where your uh, house used to be. Uh. See, uh, that's the shed uh, that I built in uh, in that years years ago. Yeah, that's the shed. The house is gone. <sighs> What's going on guys? Welcome to another voiceover. So as I previously mentioned, uh, I didn't get any footage of the actual seminar itself because it is a new environment for me. Uh, a lot of people I don't know and I just not, I wasn't sure how comfortable they were being on camera on my channel. Uh, social media isn't as big in Prince Rupert as uh, say Edmonton. Edmonton at my gym, I'm used to having a camera in the gym. Everybody that lifts has a camera with them or their phone with them recording. So it's not such a big deal. Everybody's used to it. Even, even where I live, uh, Ron and I usually we walk around with our phones, our camera, we're vlogging. And although it is strange to people, people are kind of used to people like us being strange. So it's not as big of a shock to them, whereas in Prince Rupert, just having my phone out, I, like I tried vlogging a couple of times and I was getting, I was already getting some really weird looks and just a little bit uncomfortable for myself so I decided not to do any filming and just enjoy the seminar for what it is and enjoy the company of the people there. So uh, when I first got to Prince Rupert right away, uh, I went to the gym, went to train with Linda, just did squats that day and I was really tired that day. Just long flights, long layover and then uh, so kind of back up a little bit. At the airport, I didn't realize that you have to take the bus to a ferry, take a ferry to an, uh, to an island, or actually the airport itself was on the island, so I had to take the ferry off the island to Prince Rupert, and it was just so unexpected. But uh, yeah, so I did some squats that day, and I just hung out with my family. The next day, I went driving around with my dad, went for breakfast, uh, check out where my old house used to be. Now it's no longer there, so that was kind of sad. And here we are training with Linda. Um, deadlifts uh, worked up to um, match an older PR from previous week. I believe it was about 450 for sets of six. And uh, Linda here is actually she's com com she's competed at the BCPA Provincials before, so uh, British Columbia Powerlifting Association. And she stopped for a while. She got into uh, Olympic lifting, and she's actually really good at it. Um, but I convinced her to do some deadlifts that day, just for a hell of it. And uh, her old PR was like 285, and she managed to squeeze out 275 right here. And that was after, I don't know, six, seven months of not doing any deadlifting at all. So I think she's got some great potential to be a really good powerlifter. And um, yeah, I really hope to see her compete again someday. And, you know, it'd be cool just have to compete with her along with, with like, other friends. Other than the deadlifting, I decided to show a little bit more of the accessory work that I do. Um, as you guys know, my shoulder is kind of messed up right now, but it's getting better. This is the first time I've benched uh, heavier dumbbells on a flat bench, 
and relatively pain free I mean there was a little bit of strain here and there but nothing crazy it still felt pretty good um, Linda here doing some Olympic lifting now she has her own gym uh, or her own studio with her own uh, ollie lifting bars ollie lifting bump plates so this was a huge change for her using commercial gym bars for those of you do, that do Olympic lifting Olympic lifting on a um, commercial gym bar isn't quite the same the knurling's a little bit different, the, um, the bearings on it a little bit different, so it, it can throw you off, and the fact that she can do the lifts at a commercial gym, props to her, I definitely cannot, let alone having the, like, I can't even do the lifts with the proper equipment, let alone having not so ideal equipment. So I went back to doing what I did best, lifting, just regular rowing out. Uh, 80, 80 pound dumbbells for set of, I think, eight, I think it was, six to eight, can't, I can't really remember. But uh, like I said, felt pretty good, Afterwards, Linda came over to do some GPB work, uh, just some shoulders and whatnot. And um, yeah, it was actually really fun, uh, just lifting with some older friends, people I haven't seen in a long time. And it's kind of funny because back then in high school, we weren't really serious with lifting. Uh, not only with Linda, with like my other friends, we, like, we just went to lift for the sake of lifting. And it's, it's interesting to see how over the years, some of the people that were into lifting back then either fell off or they were really into lifting now. So I have some friends that are into CrossFit now, they're into Olympic lifting, powerlifting. It's, it's really good to see that they really, um, they really continued on with their strength journey over the years. So back to my own work, I uh, did some single leg Romanian deadlifts. I'm not that good at it because uh, I have trouble balancing, especially with my left leg. Uh, my left leg, for those of you who don't know, I, I tore my left PCL a few years back in a uh, Taekwondo injury and it's never got repaired. And uh, it, there's still a lot of issues with that knee. Uh, I just kind of make do with what I got. I, I can still squat and deadlift without any issues at all, but just regular everyday work. Um, I, you start noticing little things here and there. So my balance is a little bit off. Uh, also some uh, one arm dumbbell uh, shoulder presses. I should be working on shoulders a little bit more. Uh, just with powerlifting, I just focus a lot more on bench and triceps and whatnot. So I decided since I'm kind of out here on a trip, I'd do a little bit of uh, hypertrophy work. So I did some uh, dumbbell side lateral raises. And uh, yeah, just trying to really make sure I get my pinkies up and really focus on the contractions and uh, afterwards work on some bicep curls just standing bicep curls um, I, th there's many variations that I go through but uh, for sake of time wise it was just a lot easier for me to just do uh, standing dumbbell curls uh, the point of this is try not to have too much body swing in the movement uh, studies have shown that some body movement is okay just not excessive and as long as you're still contracting the muscles it's okay uh, again that's very minor body uh, body language not you know crazy body swing and finally we finish off the arm workout with some Beijing cable curls uh, I really like these because it puts a lot of tension on my bicep a consistent tension just from the cables as opposed to um, dumbbell work where there's some areas where you don't feel as much tension my, my personal preference anyways that concludes my vlog for this trip i uh, hope you guys enjoy the footage again i do apologize i couldn't get as much footage as i would like with the seminar itself but uh, i got what i could and i uh, hope you guys enjoyed it as always thanks for watching like the video if you enjoyed the content subscribe if you haven't already see you next time peace